Uh, hello guys, uh, last time I went for the trail with my GK, uh, I had some issues uh, from C-Hubs, I will show you, uh, because I'm using ECX10 to C-Hubs and Knuckles uh, on uh, stock ECX10 uh, Excel, uh, like this. I'm using it like this. Okay, uh, it fits uh, just uh, here completely, but it's just uh, to show you the issue. Okay. Uh, here is the stock CX10 Excel, yeah, and uh, it's flat here, so notches and stuff, yeah. So uh, when you install it the CX10 to C-Hubs uh, on tweet. Uh, the C-Hub uh, have no notch or some kind of uh, place uh, that will hold it uh, and prevent from uh, rotating again the Excel like this. So the only thing that uh, holds the C-Hub is a screw that it that, uh, in installs right here. Yeah, right, so it takes like a uh, clamp. On the trail um, I had some issue when uh, the C-Hub rotated against the axle and bent this uh, steering link. I didn't see it. Uh, initially I thought I hit some rock uh, when I saw the bent link, but it was the C-Hub that uh, clocked against the axle. Okay, uh, and yes, uh, the stock SCX2 uh, C-Hub um, have some kind of planes here inside. So, uh, what we need to do is uh, to use some kind of uh, reinforcement tube. Uh, we need to place it inside the axle uh, to drill some holes in it and uh, use a common screw to Just a second. So what we will do is uh, p place a C-Hub in place, uh, install some reinforcement tube inside the axle and uh, uh, drill a hole, straight hole, yeah, and screw uh, C-Hub, axle and this uh, reinforcement tube together. So the C-Hub will not rotate against the uh, Against the X. Okay, uh, you can buy uh, this reinforcement tube uh, from any store, or like any RC store. Uh, I don't want to wait for it and pay like 25 bucks plus shipment. Uh, I will do this uh, reinforcement tube myself. Uh, to do it, we will need some uh, piece of tube. I haven't found uh, the appropriate one because we need uh, like uh, this inside diameter is uh, 11 millimeters. It's the size of the bearing that uh, is placed here from the factory. Uh, I found this uh, key. It's like tube key. Uh, it's uh, just a second. Okay, it's a uh, seven uh, and eight millimeters, as you see, like like this. Uh, so what I will do is uh, I will chop this off. Chop this off. Oh no! I will chop the, chop this off and this off. And uh, after it, I will have this tube. Uh, next, uh, what I want to do is uh, take a drill and uh, drill uh, it uh, like this uh, from this end uh, to the center with uh, 11 millimeters drill bit, so maybe 10 and a half. I will need to check which one I have. Uh, so as you see, right? It's uh, stop housing. 
Uh, so what we need to do is uh, okay, this piece uh, 11 millimeters. Here we have some notch. It's uh, less uh, inside the diameter, right? I will try to show you. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we will do is we <laughs> what I will do. Uh, I will remove this notch by using the drill, drill it uh, through and uh, after it uh, I will place uh, the cut piece of this uh, tube here like this no, I mean uh, like this right okay. I have some broken on the fox okay so it would like this uh, we will need to drill it because we have uh, stock holes in the axle housing. I believe you, you can see it uh, like this. So here is a stock hole. We will use it. So. Uh, Sorry for this. Uh, after it, we will place the tube from both sides of the axle. And yes, it is for the dimensions. Uh, tube length it should be like 51 and a half millimeters. I will do maybe 52 uh, millimeters. Yeah, we will have. Uh, the bearing maybe go a little bit out, but it's uh, okay in this case. Uh, so um, I will uh, prepare this tube for, for installation in my, <laughs> let's say, remote workshop and uh, get back to you. Uh, maybe with the process or maybe even with the final result. Uh, uh, so uh, to proceed with the Excel, I will have uh, to chop the excess pieces of this uh, tube, let's say, uh, drill it through, uh, maybe tap some thread in these holes uh, to help the screw. Actually, the screw will hold uh, just using these uh, plastic pieces of the Excel and uh, C-Hub, uh, but anyway, I will try to thread some uh, to do some thread inside this tube. Actually, it's not that uh, thick, it's kind of like one point half millimeters, I believe. I'll try to measure it. Just a second. Yes, it's like one point three, I believe. It's here when uh, the flange uh, goes and somewhere here well I believe it's the same uh, anyway uh, I will uh, prepare this uh, piece of tube actually I had uh, I have two of them uh, one for each side so I will cut excess of the material so it will be like like this uh, after it uh, I, uh, I will drill two holes uh, like an axle housing one from one side one from the other side and uh, i believe i will drill uh, another two holes uh, maybe but maybe no no i, I will drill uh, in the tube but i believe i will perhaps will not drill them uh, in the axle housing itself because well uh, as you can see, if uh, I drill a hole uh, in the middle of the tube, yeah, which uh, is, uh, let's say, uh, the nearest uh, for the center of the axle, right? Uh, we have this uh, sharp edge here, and uh, I don't want to maybe chop it off or file the excess of it and uh, screw a hole uh, through it. Uh, that is why I just uh, installed this tube uh, with uh, two holes here, one uh, for this side of the axle and one uh, for this side of the axle. 
uh, screw it through uh, the C hub, the stock C hub. Also, I will use this uh, stock C hub uh, mounting hole, yeah, to just maybe to hold the screws and uh, to help uh, make the C hub uh, sit better on the axle itself. And uh, I believe uh, the problem with, <laughs> let's say, clocking C-Hub will be solved. Okay, I will uh, maybe insert some uh, footage of uh, tube preparation, if I will have uh, enough opportunity to shoot it in a good, in pretty good quality, let's say. Okay, uh, we'll uh, proceed with fabrication. Okay, guys, uh, I got to the workshop. We'll start uh, uh, with the tubing for the front axle. Uh, first, I will cut the excess pieces off. We'll use wise. Uh, okay, hold. Hold it in place. Uh, first, I will chop these pieces off and then measure uh, the rest part that needs to be cut out. Okay, uh, first part is chopped off. Uh, only one part left to chop. I already marked uh, the length I need. It will be 54 millimeters. Just a second. So uh, here is the mark. I will chop this off and proceed to the second tube. Like this. Okay, guys, uh, tubes uh, are the lens we need. It's like 51.5 uh, 52 millimeters it will be enough uh, next step is to drill the axle through i will need to find some drill with the appropriate size i will uh, inform you which size i used uh, so you can do it the same way okay i will proceed with the axle itself I uh, drilled the axle as I wanted. I used 10 millimeters uh, drill bit, uh, and uh, as I needed almost 11 uh, millimeters inside the axle, yeah, uh, I used some Dremel uh, to flatten the excess piece. Just a second, I will try to show. Okay. Uh, right here we have a uh, place for axle bearing and uh, after that bearing we had some uh, piece of axle right there uh, that uh, has to be removed it's uh, generally speaking the only part let's say that prevents us uh, from installing the steel uh, so right now as you see we can use this tube and uh, insert it into the axle. Uh, I will need uh, to clean it a little bit inside uh, to remove like uh, plastic dust and stuff. And also I will need to remove this uh, sticker from the <laughs> part of our tube, let's say. But anyway, uh, it uh, inserts inside the axle, everything is okay. Just need some minor job to be finished. Okay, uh, now I will uh, uh, drill this tube with 2.5 uh, millimeters uh, bit and try to thread it like uh, with 3 millimeters thread so it can be already installed into the axle. Okay, I uh, fabricated the tube uh, for the axle. I drilled one hole here, one hole here. I used 2.5 mm uh, drill, uh, then I tapped it with uh, 3 mm uh, thread. 
Okay, uh, as for the tube itself, uh, it's 52.5 uh, millimeters. It's a little bit longer uh, than I expected, but anyway, uh, I will test fit it in the Excel and perhaps I will have to uh, file it a little bit here, maybe a millimeter or half of millimeter, I don't know, who know. Uh, as you can see, I'm sorry for this one, I need uh, to clean it finally after the mock-up and all this. Uh, I believe you just uh, focus. Mm -hmm, okay. Uh, as you can see now, uh, the actual housing here, yeah, it's uh, flat inside. I will try to show you. Uh, so we had some uh, plastic piece here, we removed it. Uh, there was some plastic here, also removed it, uh, I jammed it off. Uh, and I believe it's all. Uh, same story with the second uh, part of the Excel. As you can see here, uh, it's flat. It's a uh, stock hole for the C-Hub uh, screw. Uh, we have the same here, yeah, for the other side. Okay. So no extra plastic there. Actually, we need this tube inside, right? And uh, this tube inside here. It should be placed like this, so... Just focus, right? Now it's well positioned. And as for this one, also well positioned, as you see. So... Uh, we have some place left uh, for the bearing, right? Well, I will try to measure it. How much do we have? Well, I believe it will be quite accurate. So now it's like uh, 3.5 millimeters and uh, the bearing itself 4 millimeters. So uh, it will do. Uh, from this side, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Here we have almost uh, four millimeters, so it will be okay. As uh, for this piece, uh, I believe I will mm, file it a little bit. So maybe a half millimeter so the bearing will sit uh, flush uh, with the outer part and uh, as for the middle uh, I will uh, measure uh, this distance maybe on okay guys uh, I took the main gear it's kind of greasy and dirty anyway not dirty, but in grease. Let's put it inside and see how it fits. Mm -hmm. Just a second. Okay, I put it inside the housing, it's okay. Now, as you can see, this tube is flush, this one is also okay, right? 
So we have some clearance uh, between the tube and uh, main gear of the X also. It's, it looks okay. Now we will close the axle. And we will see how it sits. Uh -huh. Well, it's okay. I will try to put the C hub and see how it goes. And how it sits on the axle. Uh -huh. One side and other side. Just a second. Mm -hmm. I believe we have. Ah, no, it's okay. It's okay. Perhaps it's something inside. Maybe. Okay. I, uh, Put this on the axle, I mean this uh, C hub. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it sits good. Uh, what I need to do now is to and decide uh, which uh, angle I will need here. So I believe. I don't know. Well, it's hard to clock now the C hub. So it's already fits uh, quite tight. Next step is uh, to decide which uh, angle of the C hub. I will need so it should be clocked something like this I believe right mm -hmm. I will need to check it uh, how it sits on a six and two let's say so we have like a good position yeah and no excess angle because uh, too much of uh, a glyph it's called caster angle uh, too much of caster angle also will not work, so we need some moderate value. I will take a look how it sits on uh, EC extend to axle. Put it here like this, uh, drill hole here and uh, here. And uh, screw it uh, through the uh, I see. I will screw the C hub to the axle and uh, through this um, reinforcement tube. Okay, now now I will uh, take a C extend to axle to see which angle I am looking for. Okay, I'm back with a C extend to axle. It's RTR style one. Okay. Uh, now it uh, sits uh, horizontally, as you see, right? And test for the angle. It's like this. So I just... Uh, it, uh, the pencil is uh, parallel to the axis, right? of this uh, knuckle so we need to have the same angle uh, here well it's actually it's they are both black and i believe it's hard to see on camera right so uh, to have this to have the angle like this we will need to put it off and then again put it on but in a different position okay should be like this, so mm -hmm. let's try 
to do it the same way. Mm -hmm. And let's take a look. Okay, I did almost the same angle. So we, uh, we put both axles in the same position, looks like we got what we wanted. So it's almost the same. Uh, we will repeat it uh, from this side. Well, now these uh, C-hubs are really tight on the axle. Not like it, like the said before. Mm -hmm. Okay, I put it on the axle. Okay, how we can check if we did it the same way? Okay, we have. Uh, Point at this point here, I will try to show you. So, if you take a look uh, on the C hub, right, uh, we have some uh, line here. Uh, this one, and we have the uh, line here. So, if uh, we align them, uh, they almost on a straight line from this side and uh, from this side it's actually the same so we have uh, this line here and uh, this line here it's kind of edge uh, so um, both C-hubs are at the same angle so let's put it like this just a second, okay. So it's the same on both sides. So we may have, yes, and uh, here on the axle also, I will have a uh, middle line here. I will try to show you. I'll put it closer to the camera, right? Okay. Now you can see this line. It's a middle line of the axle, right? And the same goes here. It's uh, we have uh, this line uh, on uh, C hub. Here it's integrated, but anyway, it uh, it's the same like uh, the kid version. And if we uh, put the axle horizontally, we can see that uh, this line and this line are in the same way. It's hard to show on camera, I will, but I will try like this. So it's like the same line that determines the angle. Uh, so now uh, is we have this uh, axle housing, right? Uh, next step is to drill the hole through the axle. Uh, and we will need to mark uh, the hole to do to do it. We will put this off. And we'll measure the distance between uh, the center of the hole and uh, this edge. Well, it's uh, 5.7 millimeters, so almost 6. Okay, well, remember this value, right? Uh, we will put this uh, 
see how back on the axle the same angle uh, like uh, the opposite side right check once again that uh, the angle is the same from uh, both sides I believe some sometimes it's hard to determine using only the eye but it's not the rocket science and we are not building some F1 cars so if it's a little bit, a little bit off it's not the problem at all have this uh, distance uh, from the edge that we measured and we will need to put it closer to the case okay we have this distance right some mark one side other side okay uh, as from this side but actually they are almost the same so we will drill the hole And yes, uh, guys, I didn't see it first time. Uh, at the back of the sea hub, I will try to show you. Okay, like this. Uh, sorry for this brightness. Uh, we have some mark here, right? So we can use this mark landed uh, with this piece for example yes actually this mark is uh, for the middle of the axle from this side yeah to determine the stock position of c-hub i mean uh, angle wise and uh, from this side also the same we have uh, we have it here so you can use just uh, this mark to align uh, c-hub on the axle because this uh, axle have uh, this uh, middle edge so you can uh, match this one sorry uh, yeah match uh, this mark with this edge let's say uh, from both sides and it will be quite accurate uh, now I will uh, drill one hole here one hole here and uh, screw uh, the C hub to the axle just uh, for mock for mock up uh, i believe i will not uh, assemble this axle uh, on camera because i will need to grease it inside uh, also i will need to put a uh, smaller bearing here because well i had this bearing off uh, I had this bearing uh, uh, to be replaced because it was rusty and uh, with the excess uh, movement uh, the pinion inside it and uh, I didn't have uh, the appropriate one on hand it's, uh, I believe this one is, should be like uh, uh, 4 millimeters in width and uh, I had only five millimeters or six millimeters in local store, so I took it just to be able to drive the rig and ordered uh, the appropriate one. And with that uh, wider bearing, I had some rubbing of uh, drive shaft uh, against it. So now I will put some 
appropriate one, yeah, and I will need uh, to shim uh, this output. And I will do it off camera, and uh, when everything is uh, put together and mounted, I believe I will show you later, uh, maybe in the end of the video, or maybe now. So, uh, in case uh, if I will not uh, put this piece uh, afterwards, yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, please leave some feedback, maybe uh, put like or dislike. Actually, I, uh, all I'm asking from you is uh, to leave me feedback on the content, on maybe quality of video uh, because <laughs> as I see nobody uh, will actually looking at my reads now and I would like to know why so what I'm doing wrong I believe or well, maybe I'm doing all fine but you just haven't enough time maybe to look at my video Anyway, guys, uh, thank, for tu thank you for tuning in today. I will uh, proceed with assembly of the axle. Yeah, I was drilling the hole and stuff. And I will try to show you the final result. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye.